Hi, um, still here in Barcelona. I uh, donated some time to the chiropractic college, the new chiropractic college. It's, it's in its first few years of uh, formation. And what I've seen of endeavors like this, it's, it's an entrepreneurial endeavor, it's a, it's a big endeavor. They've got hundreds, a hundred students maybe, and they're planning on tripling that this uh, fall with their matriculation. And I've uh, met some of the members of the administration, and, and we've talked, and, and last week they said, okay, it's, it, we're ready for you to come in, and, and if you would. And I said, oh man, I'd love to come in. Uh, and so we spent a couple hours together last week, and I met a bunch of absolutely fascinating individuals. Uh, the one, one of the men who was kind of administrative teaching position, uh, his name is Pablo. At one point I asked him, I asked him, what do you want? How do you want to do this? And he said, you know, he said, every couple of years I want to destroy this thing. He said, I want to just take it down to its shell. And I'm looking at the man who started the college and the number one uh, technique teacher who have been in this, and they've got a lot invested in it. I'm looking at them thinking, holy cow. I, I, and, I, and they were absolutely okay with what Pablo was saying. I said, man, who are you guys? Because I think what he is saying is true. I think if you have an organization in this day and age and you're not willing to destroy it and let it go, uh, he came up to me and he said, you, afterwards, and he said, you know, we have to keep the systems in place that we built. He said, I'm not talking about that. He said, I'm talking about dropping everything else and then seeing what comes out of it so we can keep this university progressing. And I thought, holy cow, what presence of mind does it take to do that? But then what sort of commitment from the people who have started it to sit there and look and go, yeah, that, that, that'd be a good idea. <laughs> I mean, most people are trying to desperately hold everything together that they've built. But this is the same lecturer that was talking, and, and he said, I have to teach uh, chiropractic students differently than medical students. He said, I teach both of them, have for years. He said, but medical students want to believe that things are a certain way. So from a biochemical point of view, I have to tell them that. I have to tell them this is a biochemical reaction. This is what happens when that happens. He said... But as people have written about, Bruce Lipton and people like that have written about, uh, it's not true. There are too many variables in any system to keep it from being predictable. I mean, there's a certain amount of predictability, of course, that's how things work. But there are all, all the time these things that are unpredictable. And like I said, this is the same man who said, yeah, I want to destroy this from time to time and see what comes out of it. I think that's where we're headed. I think in the new millennium we have to be willing to allow the Buddhist concept of impermanence infiltrate every aspect of our lives, let it be destroyed, and see what comes out on the other side. But that may be Scorpio thinking for you. <laughs> MICPeakPerformance.com. Have a fun day.